So, I have four questions I want to ask you. And this is a question that you need to keep asking yourself as an individual. Because this might be the game changer you need in your situation. What are these questions? My first question is, how do you start your day? The second question is, how do you end your day? The third question here is, do you wake up at midnight to pray? And then the fourth and most important question is, how consistent are you with these three questions? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome and welcome back to my amazing space on the internet. It's your girl, Evelyn Ambrose, recording from Abuja in Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. Now, if you're new here, you may want to consider subscribing because here I encourage you in your work with Christ. Now, from the title of this video, you can tell that we are going to talk about a prayer routine. And the question is, do you have a prayer routine? Now, why did I ask those questions? The reason why I asked this question is because I found out that a lot of Christians are not consistent in their work with Christ. They only come up to God when they need something which is not supposed to be. As a Christian, you are supposed to be consistently praying to God. It's not when you need a um, marital breakthrough or you need financial breakthrough that you call upon God. No. Every day, you must find time to pray to God. And yes, I know a lot of us are praying consistently, but yet we cannot find the answers to our prayer. I want to encourage you today that you should not give up because our God is not a magician. He is a God that works from the inside out. He is a God of process. Our God will not just give you something because you have asked him for it. No. Sometimes in life, there are times where you have to undergo a process before you can fully be able to use a blessing God wants to send your way. I don't know if that makes sense. So life is not a rush. Learn to enjoy the process when you have prayed. Now let's look at the questions that I have asked. How do you start your day? What's your daily routine? Okay. So for me personally, I would say I have a timer. I've told you about having timers, having alarm clocks that help you in your prayer life. 6 a.m. I have a timer. The timer is to tell me that it's time to wake up. And as you're waking up, you are praying. Now, Another thing I do when I wake up by 6 a.m. is to read those three important Bible passages that I mentioned, which are Psalm 23, Psalm 51, and Psalm 91. These are very powerful Bible verses that can see you through your day. Now we move over to my next timer. My next timer is for 9.15 a.m. And this is where I go to my YouVersion app and open up my Bible plan for a year and read the Bible verses for the day according to the planner, okay? Then by 12 p.m., because I'm a Catholic, I have dedicated that time for my Angelus. So anywhere I am, once the alarm rings 12 p.m., I'm saying my Angelus. Now the next timer is 3 p.m. As a Catholic also, you would know that there is this prayer we do and it's called the Divine Mercy Prayer, okay? So I say my divine mercy prayer at that time. Now the next time is 6 p.m. And yes, as a Catholic, we say the angelus 6 p.m. So 6 p.m. I say my angelus. And when I'm done, I just take some minutes to praise God. I put on my praise and worship song and then praise God till the timer runs out. And then I eat dinner and it's time to sleep. I'm not an early sleeper. I like to stay around the internet to catch up one or two things or maybe read a book before I sleep. So when it's time for me to sleep, I just tell God, thank you for seeing me through the day. And that's all. I sleep and wait for the next day. So that last part answered my second question. How do you end your day? So that's basically how I end my day. So I've shared with you the answers to my first and second questions. Let me know in the comment section what's your answer to the first and second question. Now, the third question, do you wake up at night? For me, when I had that experience I shared with you all in my 3 a.m. video, I found out that if 
I unconsciously wake up by that time, then it's a time to pray for something or even to intercede for someone. So if I get to wake up unconsciously 3 a.m., then I know that there's an instruction for me and then I just ask for what to do and then I pray about it. Then another midnight prayer time is 12 a.m. People have told you the importance of that timing, especially when you are not satisfied with the situation in your life. Go and watch that video and make sure you understand everything I mentioned and start doing it. 12 a.m. is a very important time. If you need to ask for protection or for provision or something, 12 a.m. Set your alarm and pray by 12 a.m. Then my last question. How consistent are you with question one, question two, and question three? Hmm. Okay, I will leave that to you to answer. But for me, I can tell you that it is not an easy journey because when the devil finds out that you are consistently praying and you have a particular time you show up to, he's going to fight you. So I know that it, it might not be easy, but you need to overcome this. You need to be consistent in your prayer time. Now, the truth is from the beginning, if you do not plan to keep to this routine, then you've already failed it. So it's a mindset thing. Do you want to keep to this routine or not? But I will encourage you to keep to this routine and try this for 30 days and come back and share your testimonies with me. You will definitely see a change in your life. Why am I even encouraging you to be consistent with your prayer routine? It's because it helps you to have an effective prayer life. It also gets you closer to God. And when you consistently show up to pray at a particular time, you would begin to get directions from God in your life because he who prays consistently is drawing God closer to his life. And when you draw God closer to your life, trust me directions will begin to fall in place for you and as long as you are obedient you will never fail please i beg you do not play with this information because i want to see you succeed in whatever you do and this is just a starting phase and so i'm encouraging you to please put this into practice put this into practice okay and just to conclude this video i want to draw your attentions to proverbs 16 verse 3 ask the lord to bless your plans and you will be successful in carrying them out so don't forget if you have decided to do this then ask god to bless your plan and he will make you succeed i can't wait to hear your testimonies and i hope this video blessed you Yes, if it did, please don't forget to give this video a like. And if you've not subscribed, you want to subscribe so you can keep up to date with the videos on this channel. Yes, I have come to the end of this video. And until next time, this is Evelyn Ambrose saying bye.